Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Gorgon LMG for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And I'm starting up a new series for Black Ops 3 called Gun Notes, basically where I give you guys all the information you need to know about a weapon for Black Ops 3. So like I said, today we're going to be covering the Gorgon LMG. And to start things off, here's some basic information about the gun. So without extended magazines, there are 100 rounds in the magazine, 50 in the clip. And with extended mags, there are 140 rounds with 70 in the clip. The Gorgon's also going to give you guys a 7 reload time without fast magazines and a five second reload time with fast magazines and here's a graph showing the shots to kill and for the majority of the gunfights you're gonna encounter in Black Ops 3 it's only gonna take two bullets to kill someone which is very good but occasionally if you happen to be in a gunfight within 5,000 feet it's gonna take three shots to kill but the majority of the gunfights you're gonna encounter are not gonna be that far so again it's only gonna take two bullets for the majority of the gunfights you're gonna encounter but if you have the suppressor attachment it's gonna be a two shot kill up to 500 feet which is about a medium range gunfight but anything over that it's gonna require three shots with the suppressor it's still pretty decent but I'd still would rather have a two shot kill up to uh, 5,000 feet now for the rate of fire the Gorgon's gonna shoot 250 rounds per minute and with rapid fire it's gonna shoot 275 rounds per minute but with the rapid fire attachment allowing you to shoot more rounds per minute you think that there'd be some added recoil right well if you think that you're wrong so take a look at the gameplay on screen right now this is without rapid fire now it does look like there's some added kick to the gun but really there isn't and you're gonna see all the bullets are nearly precise now what's really surprising is the recoil plots with rapid fire so on screen now is the rapid fire attachment gameplay and you're gonna see there's basically no added recoil at all the bullets are nearly perfect even with the rapid fire attachment and on screen right now is a better recoil plot for uh, the bullets for the Gorgon now it does look like every single bullet is precise and uh, that is absolutely crazy guys I can't ever recall a weapon from previous Call of Duties that wasn't affected by the extra recoil because of the rapid fire attachment if you guys know a weapon then please tell me down in the comments now the real question is why do people hate this gun and the answer is actually quite simple to be honest the Gorgon is a very good weapon for campers or defensive players in the gameplay here you're gonna see me holding down the right side of fringe and all I'm doing is sitting in this corner and letting the enemy team come to me and I'm literally outgunning every single one of the players on the enemy team so the Gorgon is a very good weapon to post up with and control high traffic areas on the maps like you just saw in the gameplay but it's also a very good weapon for taking down kill streaks especially the UAV. Here you're going to see me destroyed within a few seconds, 7 bullets to be exact. And honestly, I would rather have a Gorgon kit to take down enemy support streaks than a rocket launcher. So to sum everything up, I don't think the Gorgon is overpowered, but it's definitely a very good weapon. The reason why I don't think it's overpowered is because the ADS time is very slow. So if you plan on rushing with this gun, then good luck because you're going to get outgunned by an SMG like the CUDA. The rate of fire is also very slow, so again, this gun is not really overpowered in my own personal opinion. But if you plan on using the Gorgon, then here's a kit that I would run. I would have have extended magazines to give me more ammo in each magazine rapid fire because why not there's no added recoil and I get to fire more rounds per minute I mean I think that's a fair trade-off uh, fast mags to make the reload time a lot faster and finally quick draw to help me ADS a lot faster for the perks I have ghost so I won't be detected by the enemy UAV hardwired so I won't be detected by the counter UAV and other equipment as well that might be thrown my way because I'm probably gonna be playing a more defensive role than I, I would be than running and gunning with this kit and finally engineer because it's gonna help me seek out some Support streaks a lot easier. Now this class setup is made for winning medium to long range gunfights and taking down air support. So if you plan on using the Gorgon to run a gun, I guarantee you're gonna have a very difficult time with that. So use the Gorgon as a defensive weapon instead. Again, I really don't think this weapon is overpowered in my own personal opinion. So there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts about the Gorgon down in the comments. You guys think it's overpowered or what? Tell me your thoughts down in the comments. And also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and subscribe for the greatest Call of Duty Black Ops 3 tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. Miners averts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time. I'll catch y'all later.